Hey guys, it's just a little and today, and so this Monster Legends Leaks video, I have a bunch of new leaked movesets, as well as some new leaked events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leaked moveset is going to be for Ghoul Losses, and he's going to be a dark and light tank with healing, nightmares, and repentance. So, he can remove total life from all enemies, and heal himself by 10, which is an interesting thing. And that move also does nightmares to all enemies. He also has a 10% to all enemies, and heal himself by 5 with Hellfire. So yeah, that is a very interesting gimmick. It doesn't seem super powerful though. He has another 20% that applies life regen to himself, which is pretty good. He can also apply taunt to himself, which is pretty cool. And block out 50% incoming damage, which is a really good move. He has a 50% heal with life regen and a 30% total life from an enemy and heal himself by 30. So overall, he seems pretty good. If he has mega taunt, he will be very, very good, but we don't know about that yet. But I'm sure we will find out his traits very soon. And then we have a ball Scudon, which is going to be a thunder and nature controller with stun and extra turn skills. So he can deal a little thunder damage to one enemy and apply shock with an extra turn, which is pretty cool. He has another low damage with stun and an extra turn. He actually has an AoE vulnerable, which is pretty good. He also has an AoE shock. He has precision. He's got an AoE stun. He seems okay. Not too good though. I don't think he's as good as Golossus. And then we have Princess Ball, which is going to be a mythic version of of the legendary ball monster. I can't remember what her name is, but she has ball in her name as well. And she will probably be on the thumbnail. So she has a double damage with remove all tortures from itself with a 30% life shield, which is pretty good. She's got an AoE with AoE light weakness and blind, which is pretty cool. She also has a sunburn with blind. She's got an AoE sunburn. She's got an AoE bleed. She also has damage boost with a 30% shield. She seems pretty good. Her moves are a lot like the legendary one, but they're just kind of boosted versions of them. So yeah, she definitely seems pretty good though. She'll be able to do quite a bit of damage with the light weakness and the damage boost. And then we have two new upcoming monsters, Proluca, which is going to be a team race monster, and Powflow, which is going to be a PvP monster. And we now have all of the monsters confirmed, actually. So Princess Ball is going to be the paid Legends Pass monster. Ghoulossus is actually going to be the free monster, so definitely make sure to try to get him. And then Ball Scudon is going to be the PvP monster, which is really cool. So we got the paid one, the free one, and the PvP monster. And yeah, they all seem pretty decent. The worst one is definitely the PvP p1 though which is understandable because you will be very easy to get but yeah definitely try to get golossus out of the free legends pass so yeah that is when we have for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye